Hello, my lovely trilobites. I really don't want to film this. Oh, I really don't want to film this. Um, this is like my entire makeup collection and it's frightening. So, but some of these items are talc based. I plan on taking them apart and testing them for asbestos. So, some of this is for science. It's not for other purposes if that makes any sense and I found these stick on nails when I went through the drawer and then I stuck them on myself and now I can't get them off so that's also awesome so I have this thing of drawers but I only have makeup in the top two drawers so this is kind of what we're working with I have like all my Star Wars palettes I don't really like the C3PO one but I do like the actual Star Wars one I use that one a ton and then I have like the 3BH ones from that sweet shop line or whatever that was. And then I have like some of the BH ones over there. I have this NYX one that's kind of old and I don't like the formula. I have like the ColourPop, like just my look, and the teal one. And then like the Profusion Bobo one, which I don't really like either. I love this Garden of Juvius one. Oh my gosh, I used the heck out of this thing over the summer. I have a bunch of <laughs> like mascaras. These are not opened. So I only want to have two open at a time. So these are like if I get a free one or if it came in an advent calendar or whatever, the extras just go in here. The majority of these are not open either, which is actually really sad. And then I have like that disaster back there. But I mean, I did wear this one on Halloween. So I was really excited about that one. And I really do want to get into my mint chocolate chip, but I have to finish another one first. Like, I don't like having multiple, I only want one lip oil open at one time and, like, one lip gloss open. Like, I don't want multiple things open. I'm just kind of weird like that. And then, like, back here, I just have, like, my magnetic palettes. And then when I take something apart, I'll put, like, a shadow I like back in there. But that's pretty much what that is. And then I have, like, my Odin's Eye, some more ColourPop. I love this one from Colourpop, the newest Hocus Pocus one. I love that one. I was not that big a fan of the Not A Box of Chocolates, but I don't really have that many browns. And then I have a, some BH quite a bit, and then like the BH Places one. Like I love the Lost in Los Angeles. I mix that pastel one with the Juvius, Garden of Juvius one. That was like my go-to summer combo, was like this one. The Trending in Tokyo and the Lost in Los Angeles. Like, those three combined were, like, with my Chaos Dirt, which are in the other room. Those were, like, my go-to all summer. Like, that was it. I have this one. This one is talc-based. I'm pretty, I really want to take that apart, but it's also really pretty. Revolution one, I want to take that one apart. I really like these elf ones a lot. Like, I travel with these. These are great. I love those. I have an Essence one in here that I'm not the fondest of. I have a green color pop. I went through a green phase, then I went through a blue phase, then I went through an orange phase, and then a yellow phase. That, that's pretty much how it happened. I am not on the purple or pink or red phase yet, but when the time comes, I'll be ready. And then I just have like backup brow products in here. Brow pencils, some eyeliners that aren't open. This is my backup. It is open because the other one, the lid completely broke off. And I'm really sad. This is like my favorite eye primer. Like favorite eye primer. The only caveat is you have to shake it before you use it. Like if you don't shake this, it separates. But if you shake it, it'll work really, really good. And then I have a backup NYX glitter glue. But I put this on top of that. Because if I put this straight on my eye, I can sometimes get like a little bit itchy. So I'll put the Juvia's Face Eye Primer on, and then like a pastel, and then I'll put like the glitter primer on, and then like my Chaos Dirt. That way this isn't like directly on my skin. So if you have trouble with stuff like that, you might need to do the same thing. I have my Essence Jurassic Park that my European makeup dealer sent me that you can't get here in the US. So I'm very excited about that. That's like never leaving. And I can't put it back in with one hand. Nor can I do anything with nails on. Ugh, this is terrible. 
okay, I feel like it's, it's like a dinosaur. All right. <laughs> I have the Elf Lake Game Up one. I think that's talk based too, so I'm probably going to take that apart. I really like this neat Kaja stack that I got for like, I don't know, what, $4.99 at TJ Maxx? Like, I travel with this thing a lot too. It's like this one and like the Elf ones. If I have to go on a plane, Elf and this. Like, easy and you're not like out a ton of money if they die. Then I have like more mascaras that I haven't opened because I don't like having things open. And you can see like a year and a half ago or two years ago, I did scent bird for a whopping two months before I got annoyed and we broke up. Lasted longer than Ipsy. We did that once, then we broke up. So I have like, I have a lot of hand sanitizer. <laughs> like there's, there's a lot of hand sanitizer. Uh, and then I have... This is my new backup of my pillow top because my little mini one is like, it died. So I need to actually pull that out. Then I have like my little boba sponges, some like backup lippies, and they're all in boxes. If I've taken it out of the box, that means I've like gone through the ingredients. If it's still in the box, that means I'm like possibly going to take it apart and check for like lead or check for like something else. So keep that in mind like this is not necessarily like my daily use pile so that's drawer number one there's some things I should probably throw out but I also want to take them apart so that's that's drawer one drawer two I have like some my new one that I got for like $11 at Sephora I have this one like I just found at like TJ Maxx Colourpop. I have this really, this is a really pretty like three highlighter palette, face palette that I got at the cosmetic company outlet. It was like $11. It's, it's really gorgeous. I'm just too pale in the winter for like these colors. Like I have to wait till summer where I'm not a translucent jellyfish and even then that's debatable. And then back here I have my lashes and like little face jemmy things but I have not entirely figured out how to use them yet. It's still a work in progress. <laughs> then I have like my color pop here. The MAC ones. I don't really like these. I don't. I don't like this formula. I don't think they wear very well. They swatch like garbage. Especially some of the, these shimmers swatch like absolute garbage. And I really want to just take all these out and put them in a magnetic palette. because, Or take them apart. I really don't like the MAC ones at all. I like the ColourPop ones, and I love the Moira ones. Those are great. These were amazing from Perfusion, except one dried out on me really, really fast. And then one of the Elf ones dried out on me really fast. So I was bummed. So, but the Physician's Formula hasn't dried out on me yet, so that's good. But I did have a ColourPop one try out, and I was like, well, what? I went to use this. I wanted to pack this for New Year's, and I was like... A stream and it's gorgeous and it's completely dried up so it's sitting out because it's gonna go in the mortar and pestle and then like the graphic liner that I still haven't entirely figured out how to use and then there's like random lip glosses back there <laughs> like it's not super exciting but still horrific so I like foundations in here which I make a pretty good dent in in the summer is when I can wear those in the winter, I really like this one because I am this pale. Actually, right now, I'm just red and cold. But I am this color. I am that pale. So it's really hard to find a color for me in the winter because it's this one and it's the Hourglass, like, shade 001. Like, that, that's my winter shade. <laughs> then I have some, like, loose powder and then some, like, I got, like, this whole kit of these. Some of these I want to take apart. Some of these I've already taken apart. This one I already tested for asbestos. It came back negative. I was very excited. I'm probably going to do the same thing with some of these. And obviously I love, <laughs> I love my Odin dye and my dinosaur one from my European makeup dealer. Obviously going to stay there forever. I really like my Moira ones. I have an extra hula because when I found out hula was talc based, I didn't want to take apart my face palette trio, but I did want to take one apart. So I found this one at TJ Maxx, I think, for like $9.99. So that's an extra hula that I do want to take apart and test. 
Then I have a Flower Beauty thing that I haven't opened yet, which apparently is a dupe for something or other. And then I have this one, which is apparently a dupe for the same other thingy-majigger. So maybe if I mix the two together, it'll work out. I have some, like, random essence stuff in here. And it's elf. Whatever. And then I have, like, some blushes and highlighters. Like, these, I don't mind hard panned, but these are also, like, five years old, so... I just travel with those, that way if they die, they die, I don't have to worry about it. And then I have like my MAC ones, and then like some other bronzers back here. I really like this IT bronzer, but I am i can't do it in the winter, I'm, I'm too pale. So, but yeah, this is pretty much, and then in the other room is the stuff that I'm like actively using, so let's pop over there. Okay, so this is like my bathroom drawer vanity, I love this thing. I have like this milk thing is really old I need to take that apart or throw it out I have like some primers in here the two mascaras I am currently using which is the rare beauty one and the man eater minis but I this one I didn't really like the first time I used it like I didn't really like it I'm not I don't know this one I didn't have any problems with but I have contacts and I have sensitive eyes so there's that. There's my go-to like brow product. And then I really like this highlighter, the Maracuja one. And then I have like the Rare Beauty highlighter, which I love. That's why this stuff is in here. I don't really film like shop my stashes because I just kind of do it as needed. How in the fudge sickles do you pick anything up with nails on? Like this is just So I'm in the the lightest shade that they make whatever translucent jellyfish um I wear this all the time well of course I need like both hands to do this I mean I wear this like non-stop this is this, <laughs> this is so pale it's so amazing it's like this is my winter color like perfectly match my winter color but my skin is so dry that sometimes I have to use the liquid one but I love this stupid thing like I love this like when this dies I'm gonna be very sad but because my skin is so dry, I have to use like a really, really good moisturizer and primer with it or else it's, it's going to look bad, like really, really bad. So I have like my primers and then like loose powders. I have like a little mini hourglass loose powder and then my professional, which I really like and the Tatcha that I really like and Elf Hydro Grip I really like too. So I don't know how to get the lid back on that with one hand. Ooh, I just found a, some of, I wanted to try these again because mine are just so old and hard pan. These were at the CCO and they were like, what, $7 a piece? I'm not saying this is perfect trade by color, but if I go really light handed, I think this will be nice because I really like cool tone colors. Now I'm making a huge mess. I'm going to put everything back. And then I got the Sephora favorites kit. So I got like a bunch of these little ones in here. I have been really enjoying the melt one. That one I really like. This one's almost gone. There's like barely any in there. I need a new one. This I love. I love this powder. I love this powder. Like I'm I'm obsessed with this stupid powder. Like I will get a refill when that ends. Like I reach for this over the Dior backstage pretty much every time. That's why it's so sad. I love this powder. And then I love this bronzer too. The Fenty one. I really, really like that. And then I also like this Essence one. What I want to do like... Something idiot proof where I don't want to get out 20 products. It's like a swipe and done kind of situation. When I don't want to be like, oh, here's the liquid blush. And then here's the powder blush. And here's the highlighter. And then here's the cream highlighter. And then like, here's the powder highlight. You know what I mean? Like, I, like sometimes I just want to be like one and done. And this is all I need. And it's just spectacular. But I still have. I really like this Merit blush too. I got like a mini of that one. I really like that. Um, I haven't tried, like, this weird, iconic, shiny thing yet because I've been obsessed with this Rare Beauty one. And then I have some, like, lip glosses. These have been opened, so I'm trying to, like, reach for them more. And then I have my Rare Beauty bronzer stick, which I'm also obsessed with. This is my favorite one. This is... That's not my favorite one. I lied. I apologize. This is my favorite one. The Winnie the Pooh one. There's no poo, obviously, and... I, I love this thing. I travel with this thing too. 
I'm pretty much about to hit pan on it. I am very, very sad. Like, this is, like, such a great color for me. And I, oh, oh, they just nailed it with this one. And I love, I love it. I have the other one in there. Um, and then I have, like, my little box ones because they're cool. And I have, like, my little Fenty ones as well. This is more for, like, summer. I don't really like the cold girl look because it's cold out. And I'm already pale and red. So I don't really see the point in making myself paler or redder. But to each their own. That's your vibe. That's your vibe. Maybe you like live somewhere warm or something. I, I don't know in which case I'm just jealous. So that is pretty much it. Except for, oh yeah, the palettes I'm currently using. Hold on, let me get this drawer away. Oh good lord, I need to steam clean my... Thing. Okay, so down here I have all my makeup brushes. They're all clean all the time. Like I clean them like instantly because I'm really used to being weird. These are all my um, eyeliners. I really like having something in my waterline. I don't really do like the black wing thing or anything like that. And then I have this container. This is just empty packaging from the white powder. And then I have... The Charlotte Tilbury like quad and then the other one and I have the hourglass ambient one the butterfly one and then my two Odin's eye holiday palettes and then the Michaela one because I really like these weird colors like I really like these weird colors and then I just have the packaging box for that too so like it's pretty much Charlotte Charlotte face and then Odin's eye because these are like perfect for winter so I have those I don't really want to edit this at all. And how do you pick things up with nails on? Okay, so this is the face palette I didn't want to destroy, which is why I got a hula from, like, separately. Then I have the Michaela palette part two, because I thought that was pretty good for winter. This one I really, really want to take apart. Like, I got this one for, like, 25 bucks. Like, this this one is being investigated currently. I don't. It's just in here because it's in here because the holidays are crazy. This has been one of my go-to palettes. I love this winter palette. Like, I got this on Mercari or Mercari. I have no idea how you pronounce that. I got this for, what, like 15 bucks. And this has been my go-to, like, winter palette. This, this is amazing. That's my go-to. And then the Serenity palette is obviously another of my super go-to. And then this is all of my Chaos Dirt. <laughs> because these are my favorite. But... I don't like this container because it's so flimsy and it makes me sad. So, like, I bought, um, I went on the Cleona site and, because I really wanted to try the new nail polishes that are, like, super multi-chrome. I'm not going to be able to open anything. Like, how do you people do this? Like, how do you put, I can't even put my contacts in. I honestly have no idea how in the blimey bugger. Okay, so this is, like... <laughs> I don't like this because this is really flimsy and these are like my favorite of all time. Okay, like I have my chaos dirt in here and then there's like a random nomad and then there's like one random nomad and then there's four random nomads. So one, two, I think one of those um, are mixed in with my chaos dirt and then these square ones are from Makeup Geek which no longer exists which I'm sad about. Oh, and that one right there, I believe, is from Terra Moons. So, like, I don't want to, you know, mess that up. But that, like, Terra Moons and then Four Nomad. And I think there was one Mac in here that I either took out or depotted or destroyed because it was, like, identical in the pan. But when you swatched it, it looked like crap. Oh, it might be these two. Like, you look at them in the pan and you're like, oh, my God, these are so similar. I should swap. I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna actually pick any of these things up. <laughs> like it's <laughs> But anyway, there's a few nomad of one terror moons and then a few makeup geeks, so but the rest are my chaos dirt and I absolutely love them. These are my all time favorite favorite eyeshadows of all time. Like these do not leave my collection. Like I will travel with these in like a mini palette because I love them so much. The pigment is just out of this world. Which one did I wear on New Year's? Which one? I wore Crab House. Oh, no, I did not. Oh, I did. Oh, my gosh. Why? Why? Yeah, this is the one I wore on New Year's, which is not really picking up very well. Ugh. 
I had to wash all, all this anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, so this is my coveted cast dirt. I ordered a new palette from Cleona, like the stained glass palette that's more durable to put all these in that's big enough because that just makes me sad. Okay, so this is the last part of my collection. This is my Dior um, bullet lipstick that's like transfer proof, which I can't open. I can't do anything with these nails on. I've knocked everything over. Like it's a disaster over here. This is amazing. I love this formula. And if they change it and like go clean, I think they're changing some of their formulas. I will be very, very sad. So I just have like, this pillow talk is pretty much dead. That's why I need to replace it with the other one. The only two highlighters I have open are the Dior one and the Charlotte Tilbury one. And then I have the other Dior one here, the other Charlotte Tilbury one. This one with the lid broken off, but there's still a little in there. My NYX Glitter Glue, Lash Serum, Eyebrow Stuff. And then I have my Rare Beauty Lippy Pencils and my Rare Beauty thing in the thing. This one I really, I really like the Rare Beauty one and I also really like this one. This is a really great cool tone one. I've been wearing it like non-stop with the lip liner from the same collection. You can see how the top is broken off. No, 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 don't worry. I wear that with the, the Natasha Denona, this one. I don't even wear the lipstick. I wear the lip liner and that gloss is like my go-to cool tone shade right now. And I'm loving that combination. That's like what I'm wearing pretty much. And then I have like a YSL red lippy for like those red lippy days. And then a few other lippy pencils. Some of these aren't even open yet because I haven't gotten to those colors. And then I have like two eyebrow pencils that are kind of old that I need to use up. That's why they're out. And then I have like my mini replica coffee club scent, which is almost out too. So this is, and then these are the nails I glued on myself and cannot get off for all eternity. And I can't pick anything up. Oh, this I need to use up. This is a Tower 28 and I really need to use that up. That needs to go like on the nightstand because that one's almost dead. I need to switch that out. But this is my entire collection. So now I need to edit the heck out of this because I don't like long videos. But I hope you enjoyed watching this and let me know what you think. I don't, I don't film shop my stashes or anything like that. So figured maybe you wanted to see the horde or the Katamari ball of doom. Anyway, have a great New Year's and I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.